Hello friends, in the case of decision making under X, uh, expected monetary value EMB, expected profit under perfect information EPPI and expected value uh, of perfect information EBPI. Uh, these tools are frequently used. Uh, these things calculated from two ways. One is general methods, uh, simple calculation methods. Uh, and the second one is margin analysis approach. Uh, we have already one video in general methods uh, popping up there in top right corner and uh, this is on margin analysis approach uh, for this uh, we can see here uh, uh, things to remember uh, that is um, mp is marginal profit and sp minus cp is selling price minus cost price and marginal loss is equal to cost price minus selling price uh, post plus sorry plus cost of holding beyond season that means this holding cost means when uh, we are left some stock and we have to store them for a long time then we need to spend some money for that so this is cost this is called the cost of holding cost if question provide us then we use here otherwise um, we can p is the probability of selling and 1 minus p is probability of not selling and uh, basically we said expected marginal profit a probability into EMP. A minimum probability required to stock another unit we calculate on this way. Uh, this stands for marginal loss and this is marginal profit and this is marginal loss. Yeah, the probability should greater or equal uh, to this value which we compute uh, from the provided information. And um, on the basis of these three things, um, EMB, EPPI and EBPI, we make a decisions. Uh, we can see here these are the these are seems like a similar but these are different in calculations but these probability parts are same okay now let's begin uh, this question is taken from production in uh, operation management page number i think 128 a retailer purchases uh, cherries every morning at rupees 50 a case and sells them for rupees 80 a case any case remaining unsold at the end of the day can be disposed uh, of the next day at a salvage value of rupees 20 per case. As we can see here from the questions, this rupees 50 is our cost price, rupees 80 is the selling price per case. If any case is remaining unsold or stock, then uh, in the very next day uh, it uh, can be disposed, that means it can be sell out at the rate of rupees uh, 20 per case. That means this is the salvage value. This is the historical data uh, of 120 days when you add these all days over here 12, 24, 48 and 36 then we will have 120 days. We need to find out how many cases retailers should purchase per day to maximize the profit and second we calculate these three things. On the basis of these three things we have to uh, give a better decision. Okay, from the questions we have, uh, demand is here. Uh, we can write here a demand uh, and the uh, frequency of the days, uh, number of and the probability. Uh, these demands are depend on these days. That's why the probability of days is altogether now total number of days is 120 days. Okay, so the probability of days for 15 demands. Uh, 15 uh, units uh, selling case uh, is 12 over 120 that means um, when you use your calculator then you will have 0 0.1 I, uh, I now we have all together 1 when we add up this probability then we'll have 1 yeah we are using the margin analysis approach for the margin analysis approach we calculate the cumulative probability uh, uh, from bottom to top that means we have a probability at the beginning 0 0.3 okay then then this 0 0.3 is add up with this 0 0.4 then we will have 0 0.7 when we add up this up to 0 0.2 then it will become 0 0.9 and 1.0 yes i uh, using marginal analysis approach minimum probability required to stock another case uh, that is um, probability p which is greater or equal to marginal loss over uh, marginal profit plus marginal loss yeah from the questions we can see here uh, cost price is given there cost price is rupees uh, we can see here the cost price is rupees 50 yes cost price is 50 
and the selling price is 80 and the sellers price is uh, 20. So cost price is rupees 50 and the selling price is equal to rupees 80 and sellers value is equal to rupees 20. Okay, then what is the value of marginal profit? Then we have a marginal profit is equal to selling price minus uh, cost price. Yeah, we can see here in the table, uh, marginal profit is equal to selling price minus, minus cost price. And the marginal loss is equal to cost price minus uh, sellers value. Okay. So marginal profit is equal to selling price is, uh, selling price is here 80 rupees. 80 rupees minus cost price is rupees 50. So marginal profit is equal to rupees 30. And therefore we have marginal profit MP is equal to rupees 30. Okay. And similarly we calculate the marginal loss. Marginal loss is equal to cost price minus sales value and we don't have any holding cost of stock unit. We sold out this all unit in very next day at the rate of rupees 20. That's why cost price we have uh, rupees 80 and minus uh, sales value is rupees 20. Uh, so we have a cost price is rupees 50 okay and rupees uh, 30 okay 30 rupees is our marginal loss okay therefore marginal loss is equal to rupees 30. Now we have a marginal profit we have a marginal loss and we are going to calculate the value of probability over here. Okay, what it could be uh, the value of probability is greater or equal to marginal loss is rupees 30 and over the marginal profit is 30 plus marginal loss is also 30. It seems that uh, greater or equal to 30 over 60 that means 1 over 2 that means 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5. Now what is our tax is now what we do here this 0 0.5 uh, we we look for the value of this 0 0.5 here in the cumulative probability section we see here from the bottom uh, the 0 0.5 adjusted can be adjusted here because this is greater than 0 0.5 uh, and this is um, less than 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 lies here so we select this row uh, that means uh, how many units how many demands 17 units from the demand sections yeah from the demand sections we select 17 units yeah the result tell us the cumulative frequency uh, which is just greater than 0 0.5 is 0 0.7 over here yes and the alternative corresponding to it is uh, 17 cases when we can see here yes the uh, 17 cases can maximize the profit so the retailers should have to pick up 17 cases should have to purchase 17 cases not more than 17 cases and not less than 17 cases so this is our decision for the first question so on the basis of this result the decisions we can make here the uh, retailers should have to uh, purchase 17 cases of carries uh, every morning to maximize his profit this is the answer for the first questions now we have to calculate uh, EMB in the second questions expected monetary value the expected monetary value I'm constructing here a table six by six yes here supply is greater than demand because supply is 17 and demand is 15 and here supply is also greater than demand and here uh, supply and demand are equal and here uh, demand is greater than demand is greater than supply okay now pay a formula is when supply is greater than demand then we have a uh, formula here D times marginal profit uh, minus sales minus demand uh, times marginal loss uh, the same formula here because supply is greater than demand the same formula here uh, but here is a different formula because supply is equal to demand there that's why the supply into marginal profit we can use this formula and when uh, demand is greater than supply then we can also use supply into marginal profit these things we study from the previous um, uh, unit. Okay, and the payoff value is 15 times 15 times 30 uh, minus 
2 into uh, 30 that means how much okay for an example we can see here how I calculate this one when supply if a uh, supply is greater than uh, demand then uh, the payoff value is D times uh, MP minus the difference between supply and demand into marginal loss so the demand here we have is 15 and mark price is here um, uh, sorry marginal profit is rupees 30 minus the value of supply is 17 and demand is 15 and marginal loss is also 30 then we will have 390 similar we calculate 450 510 and 510 okay now at the final what we are doing here this 390 multiply with this 0 0.1 and we will have 39 this 450 multiply with 0 0.2 then we will have 90 and this 510 is multiply with 0 0.4 then we will have 204 on this way we calculate the expected monetary value at the end of the table and the summation of this all value is uh, expected monetary value which is 486 that's why the answer for our second question is also we have expected monetary value is equal to 486 okay now let's move to the third question in third question we are calculating we are calculating e p p i that means expected uh, profit profit information for this we need to draw a table yes similar type of table which we constructed for number two Demand is 15, 16, 17, and 18. Uh, this is the case when we calculate EPPI, then we need demand is equal to supply condition. That's why supply is also 15, 16, 17, 18. Conditions D is equal to S, D is equal to S, D is equal to S, demand is equal to supply. Formula is supply into EMP supply into so the value is of 510 510 and this uh, supply is 18 into marginal profit is rupees 30 540 now the probabilities are 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 expected value we multiply these two column respectively 450 times 0 0.1 is uh, 45 45 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, and 540 into 0 0.3 is uh, 162 so finally uh, e p p i is equal to a uh, summation of uh, a of value into probability is equal to when we add these all then we have 507 so the third one is we are computing uh, EBPI expected value for perfect information is equal to we have EPPI minus EMB for optimal stock for optimal yes stock that is EPPIs we have uh, 507 minus EMB for optimal stock is already we calculated that is 486 yes from the pre previous table yeah 486 and we are left now 21 yes so the final decisions uh, of this uh, example is that the cost of uncertainty okay uh, the cost of uncertainty uncertainty which is also called EVPI is equal to rupees 21 this is the final decisions okay the cost of uncertainty is a uh, dear friends thank you very much for watching i think this video fulfill our objectives at the beginning which we mentioned there okay thank you see you in next video